Watch this. I have been married for 51 years. Got two sons, 42 and 40. Needed to take a test to see if any of us had a kidney good enough for my brother. Found out something interesting. They ain't my kids. There's somebody else's. <laughs> of course, the only good thing is, I know it's not my fault. I do wish I knew who the real fathers were. She couldn't tell me. I'd probably forgiven her. <laughs> He's just so strong and how can you not feel sorry for him? He simply just wanted to leave a legacy and pass down his achievements to the next generations. Next we got Lady J breaking down the mindset of someone who might be considered a keeper. If I were to take you on a first date, how much would you want me to spend? Wait for it. This will surprise some of you. Less than $120. That's right. And let's hear the common sense reasons why that is. Why is 120 bucks a max? Because I don't really need anything. I can eat at Cheesecake Factory, Chili's. I can eat anywhere. Like, it's just food. Like, you could go to a taco spot, a food truck, and still have an amazing day. It's an amazing day. It's just about the connection and getting to know the person. The money shouldn't be a thing when you're going out to eat. You know, you could use that for something else. Now, that is absolutely true. And steak um, is not going to make me fall in love with you or be more interested in you. Absolutely not. That Exactly. What's going to make you fall in love then? The way he acts, the way he treats, if he's opening the door, how he carries himself, how masculine he is, the way he dresses. She is not wrong. My name's Adana. I popped it because you seem very tired and don't, 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 don't laugh. It's very serious and like sleepy and I was thinking like an extra in Friday and I thought like extra on Friday? the film like like Big Smokey and like an extra on Friday yeah I was like that's how I'm looking yeah oh she trying to go viral that's why I was no I'm not I'm not trying to go viral I'm this like how can he take her seriously if she's going to act like that and let's continue what, what's the point so I'm just I'm not trying to go viral whatsoever. I mean, yeah, I'm not. Well, how you want your man to dress? How presentable, respectful. What is presentable to you? Presentable, I mean, maybe a collared shirt and slats or something, dress shoe. Um, maybe like the lip not hanging. <laughs> it's not funny. You said his, his lip is hanging? Like, I can't do it. I hope it was hanging like, like I don't know how to do it. But. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Bo is she your type? No. I'm not even trying to be petty. She pretty, but yeah. No. And why not? <sighs> Too skinny. Mm. Yeah. I better be a model. But then again, anybody can be a model. You're right. That's right. <laughs> Someone can be extremely attractive on the outside, but having a super unlikable personality will scare many away. So at the very least, be a decent human being. Next we got Cardi B making some rather questionable decisions. Just because somebody like extremely faithful don't make you happy because That's true. the guys that were extremely faithful to me, it just... And now you had a husband who wasn't faithful, and you're crying. So which one do you want? You don't want the faithful one. You don't want the unfaithful one. And y'all was feeling bad for her? Congratulations. You played yourself. They need to at least be like six foot three. I'm five foot seven. It's getting over for me. But the only thing that is not different, that has always remained the same, is their height. The one thing that we can't control. And then the next month. Well, like a dude who is very nerdy and into tech and into D&D &D and all this. Oh, but he also has to be tall. Oh, my God. Please, no, 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 no. While being of massive height can make car and clothes shopping a bit more difficult. Yeah, regardless, you still have to focus on what you can control. I am 
am Jody, and I am Natalie's mom. I am Tyler. I am Natalie's ex. I'm Natalie. What was your first impression of me? I loved you. I loved you because that was the night, oh my gosh, we went to bingo, and I'd never met you, and you climbed in the car, and you were funny and outgoing, and I was like, oh, this is like the best boyfriend. <laughs> who broke up with who and why? Natalie broke up with me. Oh! Oh my goodness. I feel like what did she just, tell you? It just wasn't working out. I don't remember her. You know, <laughs> That's just, so cliche, but yeah. It was like a standard breakup. Like, it wasn't weird. Okay. Gotcha. Feelings are not really my thing. I get, once it's too emotional, I'm afraid of people leaving. So I uh, tend to cut things off, even though it's good. Were you upset? Yeah. I mean, it's hard not to be, of course. Like, I know I was upset. <laughs> <laughs> did it feel like you got broken up? With. Well, yeah. He had gone to so many family functions and we had hung out so much. He really was kind of part of the group. And then all of a sudden there was a piece of the puzzle that was missing. Time's going to tell. My guess is I have hit it on the nose, though, and that you guys are going to end up together at some point. Would you guys consider getting back together? I mean, I don't know. Maybe like in a couple of years. Just like, can you just ask Natalie out on a date? Oh my gosh, no. I could, but I won't. Come on. Good. How about just a friendship date? A friendship date? Yeah. Yeah, you better believe that the mom really liked him. And how does being afraid of people leaving make you want to leave? Make it make sense. Next, we got someone who is clearly caught staring. I did not know this and I caused a little bit of scandal recently when I said to you all that I think that if an affair happened a long time ago that the affair is over and that um, you know there's no reason no connection and it's been many many years there's very little point in telling your partner about the affair but after reading this newish research, I realized that I was wrong. The research is new to me. Um, basically, the study found that couples who kept their affair a secret, 80% of them ended up divorced versus 43% when they revealed the infidelity. And this is opposed to 23% when there was no infidelity in the relationship. So this means that if you keep the affair a secret, you're almost twice as likely to divorce. Wow, props to her for listening to the facts instead of going off of emotions. Baggage is baggage, and if you're not going to be open about it, that's just going to make things worse. To our wives and girlfriends, may they never meet. <laughs> go, go. He called. And you think the right person will come around. Well, first of all, that's a delusion to begin with because you build a relationship, you don't find one. Now you should have some sense when you pick your partner to the degree that you have the luxury to have some sense. But the notion that the person right for you will come along at the right time, that's just, that's just not the case. That isn't how things work at all. With so many apps nowadays, people can think that they have options or the illusion of it. But as with anything in life, if you really want it, you will put the effort and eventually get it. I don't care what nobody says. I'm not a mother city girl. I miss my man and he need to come home now. So if you see this, babe, I miss you and come home. You're smart. you loyal. Old. Damn. To say the riz you up for the night. What's your favorite food? That's it. Yeah. And he got you for the night. And and then he buys me my favorite food and we're good. And that's it. That's it for the night. I'm calling Cap. The effect of you buying food is going to be dependent on how attractive you are perceived. And do not make the mistake of being used for a free meal because that has happened to me. A guy would rather watch you get crushed underneath a barbell than be seen at the gym creep. <laughs> Nah. Nah, it's a switch up. I'm not a gym creep. 
I ain't going anywhere near her. It's a trap. They showed their efforts, so please appreciate it just a little bit. Well, at least he didn't go on a second date. Looks like that would have been a mistake. So Shirley and Georgia, yes, man. How old are you? 28. You have any kids? Yes, I do. I have eight. How old are you? 28. You have eight kids that you gave birth to? Yes, ma'am. You gave birth to eight kids? Yes. How old are these kids? Uh, uh, my oldest just turned 10. My daughter is seven. Then my next son, he's six. Then I have a set of twins who will be five on the 29th of this month. And my second set of twins, they just turned three in November. Then I have a one-year-old son. A one-year-old son? Yes. All by the same year? Uh, uh, six of them are, and the other two have another dad. What would you say to a guy that feels like eight children might just be too much for him? <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. Um, and wait, hold on. And not only are they eight, you have you have two twins that are five, two that are three, and then well, one set of twins that's five, one set of twins that's three, and then a one year old. So you have technically five children under the age of six, and you do have a six year old. Yeah, so they're pretty young. Yeah. It would have been so much funnier if she would have asked, how many kids do you have? Yes, just keep it like that. <laughs> but at least she acknowledges her situation, which is the first step. So good luck to her. My friend came home from a date the other day and I was like, how was the date? She's like, oh my God, it was a nightmare. And I'm like, wow, what happened? She's like, actually, he was a great guy. Like everything was perfect. He was so respectful. I had a great time. But then at the end of the date, he said a joke and he stuck his tongue out at me and he thought it was cute. Like I could tell he thought it was cute. But I almost threw up on my, on my plate. And I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, I almost threw up. Like I couldn't handle it. Like it gave me such the ick. Like I ghosted him immediately. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? Like, you're not serious. Stop crying over that situation ship you said you were in love with, even though he treated you like garbage, but you're not gonna give this respectful guy a chance because he stuck his tongue out weird. I'm sorry. Hey, sorry, boss. Nice I'll just look you up on Reddit later. Have a good one. <laughs> what did he Oh man, this one is crazy. Seems like there are many layers to this story that we have no idea, but maybe we can find out. My goodness, look at this beauty. 1987 Toyota. <laughs> So why is dating hard? Dating is hard because I think we have too many options these days. And that's true. It's bad. They're pretty prosperous. He's making close to $40,000 a year. But what are you laughing at? You're How laughing much at you? Very, very low income. You know, what, did, what do you think the average income is? The average minimum is 100000 Like, that's barely making it. In California, especially, too. That's like minimum wage. Huh? That is so sad. I mean, she's acting as if the average income is some sort of joke, like it's laughable. Society simply will not function without people doing their various jobs. Try doing everything all by yourself. It won't work. A 32-year-old, what do you think the median income is? For this age specifically? For a 42 year old? 32 year old. 32 year old. The age that you check. I think it's 250,000. It's 52,000. What? No, it's not. <laughs> 50, Damn, 50, America. <laughs> and then, and then the, what's the top 25% of a 37 year old? Dang, maybe it's 200,000. 86. What? No, it's not. The top. <laughs> Has a guy ever walked away from you? Uh -huh. Why are you talking to him? No. Never? No. Why is that? Because we're hot. Oh, 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 o
was good. I was good. Humbled. I mean, I probably would have walked away too. Your time is precious. Don't waste it on people that simply just don't respect you. I mean, laying around, thinking about her, thinking about ways to get her back, stressing out what she's doing, who she talks to, who she with. Don't, bro. It's time to let it go, man. It don't matter whether it's her, her fault, your fault. It don't matter if she's gone, she's gone. If she wants to be here, she'll be here, right? If she wants to talk to you, she'll be talking to you. You wouldn't be talking to me, right? So it is what it is, man. You gotta let it go. There's nothing you can do about it. Man. And I think, I, I really, if that is what, what's, what's going on, is that, do you really want her back? If she's out playing the field, run through a bunch of chads, and what's going back to you like you made a Billy? Back up, Billy. Is that really what you want? Hell no, that's not what you want, kid. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. Have y'all been together? <laughs> Three years. You guys know each other's body count? Yeah. What's yours? One. Is that correct? Yeah. Are you sure it's one? Yeah. Only him? Yeah. You don't know how many boyfriends you had? No. No. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's over 10. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. We're getting married. married. There's no secrets. Yeah. <laughs> we got a target on June 27th. Another target run on June 27th. Target run on June 24th. June 21st, uh, basically every other day we're going to Target. We need to figure out what's causing us to go to Target so often and maybe maybe get rid of some of those things. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, don't make fun of the guy. He's doing an amazing thing, taking care of the finances. Because, I mean, it's not like money falls from the sky. Okay, if you catch your girlfriend cheating with your best friend, uh -huh. Uh -huh, who will you fuck you first? Myself. <laughs> Yourself. Always think my type. It is what it is. It is what it is. I ain't gonna lie, man. I need answers. Cause this sh here gotta stop. How is this even like acceptable? You don't even know how fast you're going. Look at the gear shift. Look at the gear shift, man. This is blasphemy. staring at the gym. Okay, you're Wait, all at oh, least like. you're all at least double digit for sure, guaranteed. Double, double digit, one hundred thousand percent wrong. What is that? How about that? You're, you're, all wrong. Wrong. you're all double digit. Wrong, you're all at least wrong. double digit. Guess wrong. The guys. wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah. How about that? How would you say? Well, you just sat here and told told me that all of us have had double digits. Well, you asked me to guess, so right. I, I entertained based you. On, right, like I based entertained on your our, request. On our Instagram, or whatever. Again. How, okay, like, so show of hands, was I at least correct in my range assessment? Oh, for sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I wasn't, yeah, with wrong. the exception of you. Well, I mean, she asked him, you can't get mad at someone for answering your question. If you don't agree with something, it doesn't give you the right to lash out and be angry at someone like that. Really just should have paid for all our food. For one, I'm not paying for everybody's you food. It's your birthday, birthday food, food, but food. I'm not doing that. Yeah. It's 18. Why, why don't you got to pay for all y'all food, though? You brought yeah. 18 yeah. What? Yeah, of course. There's no 
breadwinner. You know, I can be the breadwinner, can be the breadwinner, you know? If everybody makes bread, there's more bread on the table. Right, exactly. Power couple vibes. Okay, what do you expect a man to bring to the table then? I expect him to bring the same thing that I bring to the table. I think there's definitely like some masculine energy that I think he needs to bring to kind of bring out like my feminine energy, you know, like a little dominance, but like not too, too much dominance. Not bad. If someone's clearly put in the hard work and effort necessary to develop themselves, and you probably should as well. So get to work. Let me show you what unspoken reads is. What's that? Okay. Well, what you won't do, another. No. It's a problem. I can do other things. I can make a like a dragon with my hands like that. Let's see, that's a dragon. Uh, so, I can do that. So, yeah. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? Uh, you lost me with that whole dragon thing. It was scary, wasn't it? <laughs> it was scary. Are you always like this? Yeah. Okay. He's like, what in the world did I just see? That looked nothing like a dragon. I mean, how can a date be so awkward? I can't believe it. Microsoft Excel? Mm -hmm. You're not? I was uh, wondering if you want a spreadsheets. I'm not. Oh. Should I just get your number anyways? Um, uh, probably not. What if I do like a really cool trick on my Heelys? Uh, it is pretty cool, but, you know, it's not cool enough. Do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. She's not as cool as me. Probably not. That's what I'm saying, so <laughs> don't you want a backup plan? Okay. Okay. I'll think about it. What you're saying is, verbally, mm -hmm. you don't want my phone number. Not really. At all. Uh, Do you know who I am? No. Okay. You're lost. Who are you? Be gone now. I'm going. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you. See ya. Do you know who I am? Must be someone real special. Might be playing a little bit hard to get. I don't care about you being on food stamps. I don't care about you being in Section 8, welfare, projects, none of that. You feel me? You got a beautiful soul, beautiful spirit, you beautiful inside and out. We can work on that, you hear me? That's what a man is for. I take you off them food stamps. I take you out the ghetto. I take you out that Section 8 stuff and put you in a big house and turn you into a boss. All you gotta do is have a good spirit, good soul, good heart, and treat me right. Take care of me the same way I take care of you. Where you from don't mean nothing. It's who you are, you hear me, baby? Take care of yourself. Real man move like this. The truth. How much money does a guy need to date you? He need to be a millionaire. Yes. Yes. Okay, and for that millionaire, like, what are you coming with? What are you providing for your guy? Just me. I'm special, and someone need to buy me my bags, my jewelry, my necklace, my clothes. He should just buy that for you because you're special. Yes. But I'm special too. Where's my free stuff? I guess it's just not fair, isn't it? She truly respects me, and if I'm doing my job to be a man that's worthy of respect, she's not going to do that, period. And so that's on me. should be able to have a say in what his wife wears when she leaves the house. It's more so like an unsaid thing. Like, if you respect your marriage and you respect yourself and you respect your husband, you're not going to do it. They're inherently want to, yeah, 
have to grab attention. Oh, come on. She knows it. It's like when I'm in the gym and I see a chick with a huge hoodie or a shirt over her pants and I know that, hey, she's respectable. You see, if you can't cook, you can't yeah. cook. That's cool. It's not cool. But if you can't cook, you can learn how to cook. Can and learn, it's whatever. Yeah. But if you say you can cook and you can't cook, red, that flag might be blue. <laughs> Listen, yeah, that yeah, so it's man. every color flag. Every color. You got We've been all the now. flags. Spend on a first date. Minimum $25. I say minimum $50 per person. Like, I mean, with Perfect. drinks and stuff, it just depends on where you're going. I mean, at this age right now, 50, maybe 40, 30 to 40. How about McDonald's or Wendy's 4 for 4? Well, after that, just answer that question. <laughs> for a date? She said 50. Absolutely not. No. What's wrong with McDonald's? Um, that's like snack food, I feel like. Like, I personally, I mean, I'm not sound bougie, but I just, if you take me to McDonald's, that'll be the last date we go on. Okay, but the one that you were able to take to McDonald's and it not matter, yeah, that's the one you probably might consider marrying. What's the worst thing an ex has done to you? Nothing, honestly. My ex has actually been really good to me. What's the worst thing you did to an ex? I cheated. Sensational. Because he accused me of cheating, so I decided I was actually going to go do it. Who did you cheat with? A lot of people. How many people? Never cheated. Maybe four or five. He never found out. He I was, I was slick out. with it. I was slick. You were slick with it. Yeah, I got away with that. Wake up one day and you're going to realize none of that was worth anything. If you're out there chasing tail, dude, I'm telling you, it's not going anywhere. Okay? You're going to wake up one day wishing that you'd, have, that you'd have put your focus on something else. You don't need anybody. Okay, You need to go get yourself right. You need to go get yourself happy. You need to go fall in love with yourself before you worry about anybody else. Your last breakup, was it your fault or theirs? Theirs, because they were boring me. They were boring you? Yeah. What made them boring? You know when they're just like really nice all the time and they just do whatever you want? So like a yes man? Yeah, I don't like that. Was he supportive? Yeah. And he was there for you? Yeah. Was he loyal? Yeah. Is that what matters? Yeah, but I don't want to be bored in a relationship. You don't want to be bored? I'm not fully into it. But what if I want to be nice and I want to be a yes man, then I'm going to get rejected? Oh man. But maybe over the course of a 10, 20, 30 year relationship, you might get bored a couple times. Mm. Here's fifty dollars. Thanks for hanging out with me. What is this? Am I supposed to dance? No, it's just for thanking you to hang out with me. For hanging out with me? With me? With you? Yeah. What am I? What am I? Uber? No, it's just a thank you gift. What do you mean thank you? I pay for everything anyway. What? What is he giving me this so I can give back to you? No, it's for you to keep. How do you even have money? I probably gave you this. No, it's for savings. What savings? You don't have savings. What kind of a spell savings. This is, I probably gave you this. You gave it back to me. You don't have to pay me to hang out with you. No, I'm going to start paying you every time we hang out. I hang out with you all the time. Yeah, so you're going to get a lot of money. Why? Can't Thank you just you. give me a kiss? Yeah, well, I want to give you money. Well... I don't need the money like to hang out with you. I hang out with you because I like you. Yeah, but I'm going to start giving you money every time we hang out. Okay, well, can you at least give me a bit more than this? Uh, that's all I have. You want me to give you a bit more money to give back to me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How much do you want? I'll give you that. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you have. <laughs> Why is it all? More money, more problems, so no money, no problems? Some of the greatest times you could spend with other people don't really involve money so much. It's just a genuine connection. Yeah, just flirt. So let's see what y'all... Can I bag you right now? Can I get your dog? Am I cute? Because <laughs> you're looking at me like I'm cute, so then I, that, that's what it is. That's it. What's that? <laughs> and I had, like, this whole thing planned. No, it's okay. How did your parents even get it? It's sold out everywhere. Pricing my boyfriend with a new car. You ready? No, it's not, buddy. Or nothing. This way. All right. Open your eyes. Your brand new car. Oh. <laughs> 
matter how bad the problem may appear to be, be a problem solver, not a problem creator. Don't run away. Address the current issues. It can be very difficult and emotionally draining to be in a relationship with someone who refuses to take accountability for their actions and constantly blames you for their unhappiness. This behavior can create a toxic and unhealthy dynamic in the relationship, and it may be necessary to consider seeking outside help to address the issue. Robot Man Speaking Facts you looking for a $100,000 wedding? Yes. Yes. Why? I have high standards, and I feel like I shouldn't lower them just because. I have high standards, too. I went to a justice of the peace. Okay. <laughs> Married 32 years. The biggest weddings are the shortest marriages, I swear. You know, Kim Kardashian, that dude, 72 days. Took her longer to pick out the dress than it did to be married to her. <laughs> That's just a party. You have that party with, like on your 25th wedding anniversary. Then you can spend that kind of money. $100,000, you're never going to get married, honey. The biggest weddings are the shortest marriages. Preach. But there's no denying they're still fun to go as long as you're not the one footing the bill. $10,000 is not a lot of money to earn per month. When I worked full-time night shift at the nursing home, I made $12,000 a year. Gets caught on camera being a creep at Jim, and when I stand up for myself, she backs down. Uh. Do you need something? Me? Do you need something? Do you need something? Mm. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Keep it pushing. What? Do you own the gym? What? Keep pushing. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable, man. No one's looking at you. Yeah, keep it pushing, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Ex could be the love of your life. He told me he loved me and then ghosted me for four years. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the links in the video description.